So I'm joined by Robbie Bake after watching the Rocks battling nil nil draw against hashtag Robbie. How do you sum that up? Because it was a pretty strange 90 minutes. Can't get them 90 minutes back. That's what I would say. Um, just not. Um, it's tough because you don't want to be critical all the time, Pete, you know, but there's two, two games out of the three games now that we've played and we could be there till next Sunday in both games if we wouldn't have scored. And it's not for the lack of getting in the areas. It's the same things that I'm on about. Week in and week out is our final decision making and our final bit of composure is so bad it's so bad beyond badness and you can't win football games you might not lose them like today because we've kept a clean sheet you can't win games when you show a lack of composure and a lack of decision making that we show it's it's alarming well to top it off as well which doesn't help you kieran douglas is second yellow yeah, yeah. first yellow for descent i know you had a go at him when he got cautioned but we just need to stamp it out don't we no, well, we, we, we spoke last week um <laughs> We had a manager's meeting about referees stamping down on things and stamping down on that and then we had Jack kindly come in for two hours on the Thursday and take time to understand that the referees are not taking nothing now. It can be minimal chat, chit chat and they'll get booked. And not only that, like I've just said to the number of players in there, there's a number of players in there that are not trying to play the way me and Jamie want to play, in, my, in our opinion. There's, there's sporadic moments that we look to look, we cut up people open them, then we, then we do it, but then we get in the, the last thing we do is always, it's always the hardest part because that's resulting in your scoring, but we're not, we're not fulfilling that potential that at the minute. And if you watch their, go their chances, they don't even have to do good play to get a chance. We do. And it's frustrating because it's almost the same core of players that were doing so well in pre-season. And all of a sudden, they've just started going off. Some, not all of them, and doing the wrong thing. And I've said to them, I will not accept it. I'd rather go down fighting with players that are going to play the system and play the way we play than not. And I've just told them in there that some of them, didn't say a name in because it's not about that. You all, always have a tendency to know really when you played game, you know, you know what I mean? Mm. So it's not good enough. It's not, when I say not acceptable, because it's hard because the lads are hard, trying hard. They're giving everything. That's three games in a week. Same for them. Mm. And they're, they're about to travel here. There's three games in a week. We looked a little bit leggy, but we kept on giving the ball away. We give the ball away so many times, unexpectedly, when we shouldn't do, mm. which results in almost the game being so open. I can't believe, really, well, from our point of view, and I'm not saying they deserve to win, but I can't believe it's nil-nil. I can, I can believe we're nil because of our chances we're, our chances we're creating, i.e. our decision-making in the final third. But it's not good enough. And I know we're three games in, it's a bit rusty and Dan Smith's like probably had that knee-jerk reaction today of like playing 90 minutes on Tuesday. Probably took its toll because after half an hour he, he was out on his feet. Mm. And that's that's the hard part. That is the hard part. But that like I said, players have got a lot enough. Players have got a lot enough. It's nowhere. You know, and the worst thing for me is they're doing the wrong thing when I'm not telling them to do that and Jamie's not telling them to do that doing the wrong thing off it so it's uh, recharge the batteries obviously Kieran's suspended for Saturday and we know we'll have to go to Canvey to pick the team that's going to be good enough how important is it though to have that week we haven't got a midweek game we've got the time for players to react because I've seen Harvey came off with probably holding his hamstring so it's a good yeah. time for players to recover isn't it yeah no I, I, absolutely and it's just precaution really with Harvey like I say we can't really afford to get any injuries that's the most important thing. We can't afford to get an end's reason. Um, with a, just a short space of time, the three games, it's just, it's tough, you know? So it's just disappointing. Their overall thing, it was just disappointing. Because I thought first half, we could probably control the majority of the game. 
But second half, they for the last for the first 25, 30 minutes they came into it. But we've got to do miles more. But on a day of not much on the pitch, off the pitch, not, over 900 fans here today, Robbie. Amazing. Fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's amazing. I'm just disappointed that we haven't they haven't seen any goals and they haven't done it. But you know, from us, you know, we make make sure that we're trying everything we possibly can to get them supporters entertained. Um, like like the supporters were on Tuesday, or albeit it wasn't a win. We're really disappointed and we know as a group of staff and players we need to do more. Cheers, Robbie. Tom Thank and you. Pete. Cheers.